Hey everybody, so I've been waiting all day to do a review on the Windows 8 Consumer Preview. Now, the Developer Preview came out a while back, and I absolutely hated it, but that's because technically it was for a tablet. So, I don't actually have anything against the Metro UI. I, I, I like it on the Windows Phone. I love it on my Xbox 360, but I don't want it on a computer. And as you can see, I like to keep a really, really clean desktop, and if I need something, I've got my rain meter there, which I will actually leave open so that I can check out my CPU performance, and if I need those quick access to programs that the desktop provides, I have Fences installed, which is a great Windows program that I'll do a review on later. So. I've installed virtual I've installed Windows 8 in a virtual box. All I've done so far is all I've done so far is install the guest editions. I haven't actually played around with it at all. So I actually had a lot of trouble installing this for some reason. Uh, one thing I don't like is the loading screen with this stupid fish. I don't know if that's actually just because this is a developer version or what the deal with this fish is, but it's awful. So, let's see if this is actually going to work for me this time. As you can see, my computer has freaked out with the combination of VirtualBox and my webcam or, and my screencaster running at the same time even though it's not using all of my memory and this isn't going to work so already a downside for that let's try turning the graphics back off I actually got it to boot up earlier when I turned the graphics off so Let's see how it goes. Up there we go, now we're loading. So if you're running this in VirtualBox, don't enable 2D or 3D acceleration, it won't work. Or at least it didn't for me. This is the 64-bit preview. I've given it 3 gigs of RAM and 2 cores off of my processor. I didn't sign in with my actual Windows Live account I just made a local user and one thing that I noticed earlier I don't know if this is just something to do with my computer or if this is because it's still a beta or whatever uh, it blinks out a lot during boot so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video until this thing decides to oh never mind there we go First impressions, this screen saver, I'm on a computer, I'm not on a tablet, I use a mouse, I don't want to do this to get rid of the screen saver. So that's a huge annoyance of mine, hopefully they change it before they actually release Windows 8. But I've logged in. were greeted with this Metro UI. Now, this is what I hate about the Metro UI on a computer. This is supposed to be for a computer, not, you know, a tablet. So, I don't want to scroll horizontally on my desktop, ever. I, the reason we have these huge widescreen monitors, like right now I'm using a 26 inch TV as my monitor is so that I don't have to do this. I don't mind going up and down, but I don't ever want to have to go side to side. So, let's see what we've got. We've got whatever that is. Our user account control, which I can't do a whole lot with because I didn't use my Windows Live account. So, let's check out the desktop. 
Okay, so we've got standard desktop there. We've got our plugins. We've got internet volume. I don't know why that says headphones. I'm not using headphones. Our time and date, which is not correct. No start menu. Now they're supposed to be in Windows 7. Down over here is where the desktop icon is. Over here it's supposed to be your there it is. There's your little lunch, your little hot corner that they stole from GNOME 3. So we go up, we've got settings, which we've got the clock shows up. Oh, I guess it does still work as a desktop switcher too. So the clock shows up. We've got devices, which doesn't seem to do anything. Share, search, and when you click start, you get taken back to this nasty metro menu. Now, on the developer preview, I know there was a way to disable this. It doesn't work so far in this consumer preview, but in a few days, I'm sure somebody is going to figure out how to disable the metro, and then I'll make another video showing you how to do that, and then I'll do another review of this. So, while we're in here, let's also take a look at Internet Explorer, which is supposed to be HTML5. It's not supposed to have add-ons or toolbars anymore. Uh, it looks like it's pretty much the same thing that was in the developer preview. And the thing is, even though this isn't a tablet, I actually kind of like this interface. Uh, no, I don't want to set things back. I actually kind of like this interface for Internet Explorer because, I mean, let's face it, nobody uses Internet Explorer anymore anyway, unless you're a hardcore Microsoft whore like my dad is, so that was his little shout out in this video. But I actually do like this interface if I could actually get the bar to pop back up. You know, I like having just total screen. Although, I don't normally browse in full screen. I mean, I normally browse pretty much like this so that I can have something going on over here because I'm never doing just one thing on my computer. But, you know, if, if one thing I've always I've wanted to see lately is to get rid of these windows and just put these little buttons as like hover buttons right here and get rid of the window borders entirely. But maybe that's just wishful thinking. So, I don't even know how to get out. Oh, there we go. So if you right click the desktop, you get your little bar which is always handy. I didn't actually use Internet Explorer 8 much on... There we go. Get out of that. I didn't use Internet Explorer on the developer preview, but, you know, Things like this really irritate me. Like, first of all, why do I need a Microsoft account to use a calculator? And second of all, why is the calculator full screen? You open up a calculator, bam. I mean, I don't, I don't need this to be full screen ever for any reason. So, mail. I assume that's going to be Outlook, but. Once again, they didn't include a shutdown button anywhere. So, because I want to keep this under 10 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and 
call that good. That was my initial impression with the Windows 8 Consumer Preview. Hopefully somebody will figure out how to disable Metro and then we can see what's really going to happen. So, I will see you guys in my next video.